Okay, so let's talk about the final reaction of amino acids, and this is amino acid condensation to give you dipeptides, tripeptides, etc., your polypeptides. So, on each end of the molecule, we have two parts. We have what's called the C terminus and the N terminus. Now, in case it's not painfully obvious why we call them that, the C terminus is the carboxylic end. And the N terminus is the amine or nitrogen containing N. Now, how do they condense? Well, this should actually be a reaction that you're already kind of seeing with, with the carboxylic acid derivatives. What we end up doing is having the lone pyrazole nitrogen undergo a nucleophilic attack on the carbonyl oxygen. This subsequently removes the OH group, which deprotonates the hydrogen on the nitrogen to give us this amide. And we'll try to draw it very quickly. Now, we do preserve the stereochemistry around the nitrogen that does the attack on the carboxylic acid. Now, this is basically how you do it. So what we're going to do is that instead of treating carboxylic acid as their own thing, we're going to have subsequent attachments, attachments onto the terminus in, car, the C terminus in, by the N terminus of either other polypeptides or other peptides in the solution. So really it's pretty straightforward. It builds on what you already know in terms of carboxylic acid derivatives and ultimately produces water and subsequently higher peptides.